system for the questions and answers of NPA 010-150 exams for Linux Professional Institute. So we will go ahead with the first question, which is which of the following Linux distributions uses DP DP package management system? So here we will reveal the solution. It's a Debian and Ubuntu. And if we will go with chat, chat GPT to check for the package management system. So here also they have mentioned that DP package management systems, Debian and Ubuntu distributions that is used. So we have selected this option, Debian and Ubuntu. Okay. So next we will check on which of the following applications are used to play an MP3 file on a Linux system. Okay. So which MP3 file we can play on a Linux system? So it's with regard to the audio files. Okay. So this option can be one of the choice and Xara next team can be one of the let's ask our chat GPT what the answer they are trying to reveal. So Let's see. So when we go ahead, regenerate response for it. And the question is not clear to him. So we will ask again, what would be the answer? Okay, here we will check B, D, and E, Banshee, and Androp, and E, Auto Scripts. So these are the, and we will check on the discussion forum, so there are no discussions left with it. Okay, so no problem, we will go ahead with our next uh, question, which is question number three, which one of the following statements concerning the Linux passwords is true? So, the passwords are encrypted in Linux and they can be decrypted with the using the system administrator's password, master password. Okay. And that is also true that password are also stored in an encrypted form. So I believe the option is D is absolutely very correct. And checking on the discussion part, there are no questions or no solutions for it. No discussion for it. So we are going with option D, which is uh, passwords are always encrypted in uh, stored in encrypted form. Okay, now which one of the following statements concerning the general public license is true? Okay, GPL license they are talking about. So let's see which of the options is correct. So it is designed to ensure the source code of a software remains freely available. Okay. So that is about the GPL part designed to ensure source code of the software is freely available. Okay, so that's uh, only the general public license. Now we're moving on to the next question. Okay, it's asking for the robot. So let's uh, validate it. Okay, coming on to page two. Now we will be checking which is the preferred source for the installation of new applications. The institutions package repositories. That is the preferred source for if you want to install any new applications, then that is the preferred source. Now, which of the following can be used to access the command line? Terminal you can use the command line. That is the best option. This is very easy. Self-explanatory. Now, which Linux distribution is used as the basis is for the creation of Ubuntu Linux? Okay, which distro we are using for Linux uh, for creation of Ubuntu? That's a very good question. I believe it's Debian. Yes, for the Debian distro, we can be able to create Ubuntu Linux. Okay. Now, which of the following programs is not a graphical web browser? Which is uh, it's option C, which is links. It is not a graphical web browser. Now, moving on to the next question. Okay, we have nine of the... Uh, we are in page third. Which of the following software packages in email server? Now, email server can be uh, hosted on a on the email server. Emails, so that would be post fix. And on the discussion, let's say what they are doing. Option is correct A and uh, post fix. So let's ask over the uh, chat GPT boot also. What? Software package that's an email server is option A postfix, which is a popular open source mail transfer agent MTA that routes and delivers email messages. That's a very good question. And the detailed discussion Thunderbird is also an email client. Okay, that's an email client, but they're asking about email server. So postfix it would be a very good approach. That's routes and deliver email messages. Now, Apache is a web server, which is whereas GIMP is an image editor, okay, graphics image editor. 
and MySQL with the database management system. Okay, now let's moving on to the next question. What does LAMP mean? LAMP is a combination of Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP other programming languages. Okay, now which of the following answers are true for cloud computing? For cloud computing, that's a very good question. It's opposite of green IT, use the fossil non generative energy for computing. Cloud company implies sharing all information to everyone else in the cloud from a business perspective, cloud from outsourcing the centralization of IT operation. So A and B would be a very correct choice in your tools to manage IT resources and outsourcing or centralization of IT operations. Now, which are the following commands in Linux based operating system for to be used on mobile devices? So, which I use Android, I believe we are using for now. That's a Linux based OS for you. We are, which we are using on mobile devices. Okay. Now, uh, but so we we'll see, we we'll see T V M. Okay. So we'll submit in the capture. Now we are viewing of the four out of the 20 pages. That's good. So our base is very good. We are progressing in a Linux exam. That's a very nice. Now which of the following option or following is true about open source software? Open source software that is available for commercial use. Okay. Uh, let's see here what they are saying. Here. I think the server is down for it. Let's ask again. Okay, open source is available for commercial use in this commercial use on the open source software. That is very true about the open source software. Commercial use and software the source code is made available to the public, allowing anyone to read, copy, modify, and distribute the code. So, what are the three principles of open source software that can be used for any purpose, including commercial purpose? It means business can use open source software to build those products, sell them, and make a profit. Additionally, open source software is also available free, although it's not always the case. Okay. So, we are going into the next question. Which of the following command is a requirement of CPL license, but not the DSDA license? Requirement of the command that is G. GPL license users to modify and distribute the software under the GPL license just to make modifications to made available to the recipients under the same license. So we need to understand that general public license is that in which users can modify and they can distribute their software under the general public license. But and also uh, regarding the modification part, they will available to the recipients under the same license. Okay. Now, finding in a way on a Linux system topic two. Now, what is the first character for file or directory names if they should not be displayed by commands such as ls or specifically stated, requested? So, for files or directories, we are using dot operator that it should not be displayed by commands such as ls unless specifically requested. Okay. Now, which of the following commands moves the directory? This summer vacation and its contents to vacation. Uh, this much I believe it's move command because we are moving with these commands only. So I believe the option is mv command, which is uh, with the hyphen operation. If you want to move any files from this location to the location. Now moving on to the page five. Let's see. 